Hey YouTube, NWR7 here, coming at you today with a video on how to record your desktop audio and webcam overlay on your Mac. So this is useful for people that are going to stream and they want to show off their desktop, maybe show a class on Zoom, or maybe record a video for a class. Uh, this will help you be able to capture the audio from whatever it is that you're trying to show, like a YouTube video, which but you need to be careful with which ones you're going to show, but definitely there's there are circumstances where you might wanna do that. I'm gonna show you how you can do that for online content and offline content, and it's all free when I'm gonna show you here, so don't worry about getting out your wallet and paying for anything. Let's jump into it. Alrighty, so let's get down to work. So quick disclaimer, if you wanna record your desktop screen and microphone, then you're just gonna need QuickTime Player. That's it, plug and play. You just hit Shift Command 5. I'll repeat that and put it in the description. Shift Command 5, and then that pops up your quick access. You don't even have to have QuickTime open uh, to do this. You can just engage it, and then you can select Capture Entire Screen with a screenshot or window or select a portion. And then of course here, and for me it shows stop screen, re screen recording because I am currently recording my screen, but it'll show you your options to record. And then in options here, it'll show you save to where, uh, your timer, I believe it'll show you after or before timer, it'll show you your microphone. I currently have my microphone set up and it's being used, so that's why it doesn't give you an option. And of course your options to show folding thumbnail or your click, etc., etc. So anyway, that's how you do it quick and easy, but uh, if you just want to get a quick recording done or uh, with a desktop screen and whatnot. But let's say you want to do a microphone, your desktop, um, and you want to show a webcam. Well, go to QuickTime Player and click left on it if you don't mind. You can get to it through Launchpad. You can press Command, uh, command the space bar and that'll get you your uh, quick spotlight search and you can type it in there or inside Launchpad, there is a search bar on it itself. But anyway, that's how you can get to QuickTime. Get to QuickTime, okay? And once you have it opened, it should show up here. And if it doesn't show up QuickTime on the top uh, corner, then you can click it on your dock, just left click, and it'll pop here. So let's get over to File, and we're going to get our webcam overlay. Uh, you're gonna need new movie recording. It'll use the webcam on your Mac, and hey there guys, as you can see, uh, it's over here open. We're gonna shrink it a little bit. And so, so this thing is your overlay webcam. You're not gonna hit record because you're not going to need to. It's just going to record whatever shows on your screen. It's what's gonna get recorded. So to make sure that this puppy is giving you good quality, uh, in case you do wanna record, you know, hit the record button. Of course, you can set up your camera. You can set up your microphone and then quality maximum just gives you i believe the maximum resolution of your max webcam which sadly for quite a few max they're pretty trash but for higher end ones you'll get you know your 1080p uh high i believe is a 720 or just um, probably half or three-fourths or whatever your capacity is so anyway you do what you need to do there uh, right now we're not gonna hit record and we're just gonna make this puppy work. So we're gonna shrink it enough that let's say we're gonna, I don't know, talk about an article. A good website for all of us uh, Apple nerds uh, would be Mac Rumors. By the way guys, I appreciate your support by subscribing and hitting the bell and a like along the way so you get notified whenever I release new videos. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna shrink this out. We can't do it in full screen, okay? Unless we did a uh, full screen, let me show you before I go too in depth on that. So if you want to do full screen uh, with this green button, you can, would have to go full screen on this and then full screen on your webcam movie recording thingy. Um, and then you would have them next to each other. It's a little awkward to be honest, but it works. You can also uh, just manually adjust this and um, put it to the size you want. But of course here, we have problems, right? Like it's kind of covering me and that defeats the point of having an overlay. Uh, because, and then if you do this, you could just sort of make it work that it's, uh, that I'm sort of there and then clicking, but it's, it's not, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be efficient if it's just finding to see who's on top and whatnot. And then of course, stretching this thing, it only goes so much you, unless you did what I mentioned earlier where you go full screen on both and then you put them together 
then that's the full screen that I was talking about. That This is a way to do it. It's actually quite efficient. It's just a little awkward because there's a lot of black bar and wasted space. But anyway, it works. Uh, but I'm going to show you an actual better method. Let's shrink everything down. And over here, you're going to go, once you have your this window clicked on and activated as the forefront app and, and uh, running, you're going to go up top to view. And then on view, hit float on top. And then this puppy, no matter if you click desktop, Safari, or this, or Safari or desktop, it's going to keep the overlay up front. And that way you can, you know, do your thing. If you go into full screen mode though, it'll ruin it like so. So don't do that unless you go full screen like we mentioned earlier, but don't worry, it'll keep the floating on top. So let's adjust this so it's sort of there and um, there we go. Oh, that's like misbehaving a little bit. You can double click, by the way, if any of your edges end up getting out of whack or something, you can always uh, double click the little, just the tab over here on top, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> and it'll adjust it, you know, bring it back into the frame. But Anyway, there you go. I'll probably shrink this a little more. Um, but yeah, that's how you do your overlay uh, with a webcam. And uh, then you just talk about stuff, you know, why not? Uh, but anyway, there's this thing, guys. I do have an extra tip for you. If you actually get Loopback 2, our I Show You Capture device, which both I'm going to be making a video on. So stay put with a subscribe and a bell so you get notified whenever those videos come out. And you can also come out to streamingliveacademy.com where my team and I, we make written versions articles that you can read for these videos that go with step in step in case a video might get a little too confusing and you're better reading. Check that out, link in the description. But anyway, for example, I wanna have a Zoom class or a stream with Streamlabs OBS, and I wanna show them a YouTube video that I own. Of course, be careful with copyrights and whatnot, guys, but this is my personal video on Samurai Showdown, uh, which is pretty impressive, 120 FPS fighting game. Probably doesn't mean anything to you, but if it does, hit a like. So, I'ma show you. Six, for example. So 120 FPS is important, and the fact Pretty cool, right? So anyway, if you wanna show, if you wanna not just capture your desktop video and you wanna also capture your desktop audio, on Windows, you're like, bro, like that's easy. But on Mac, you know, that's a problem. But anyway, with Loopback 2 over here, it is possible. And it's just, uh, I won't go in depth right now because it's a different video, but remember, stay put and let me know in the comments if you need help setting this up before my video comes out. But once it out, go, in, go check that out. It'll be a little bubble on top once it comes out. But anyway, yeah, you just add uh, Safari as a device. My actual microphone, as you can see over here, the iMac Pro microphone and Safari are in screen recording, which is to QuickTime Player when you do Shift-Command-5. On Options, I choose Screen Recording and then it'll record my audio plus it'll record whatever it is coming from Safari. So anyway, that's a pretty cool trick with that. I show you capture device is actually quite different. So that's a different method, but look back to it's free for the first 20 minutes. So check it out or you can buy a license for your unlimited use. But yeah, that's how you do desktop audio and webcam capturing with QuickTime Player for free. But of course, if you want audio, there is a 20 minute uh, limit, but that you can you remove if you need more. But that's my tutorial for today. If you need any more help, let me know on Twitter, TikTok, or any of the social medias and links in the description. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.